Okay, so this is a question I've seen a couple of times in the past exams. And what they ask you to do is, based on looking at a graph, to draw another graph. So what we've got here is a displacement time graph. And what the question asked you to do was draw a velocity time graph. Okay, so let's start off with the left-hand side. So let's move over there. So let's zoom in a bit so we can see what we're doing. Alright, so if we look to start with, what we have on the far left hand side is it's pretty, it's a flattened off graph. So at the starting point you're looking at the gradient being around zero, so it's a nice flat graph. If the gradient is zero, that must mean your velocity there is zero, not the most accurate x in the world, but the velocity should be zero. And what you see if you look on the graph at the top in this section here is that throughout this section the gradient on it is increasing throughout the section and if the gradient of a displacement time graph is increasing that must mean the velocity is increasing so in that section there let's draw the velocity increasing something like that so the next section if we look at it so we're going to need to zoom out so we can get a better look at the next section so if we do that now the next section between the two dotted lines, so we're looking at this section here, and what we'll see here is your gradient is constant throughout that section. So what you know is that if your gradient's constant, that must mean your velocity is constant. So let's draw a constant velocity on our graph, going across there. Ooh, that's pretty much all the way across there. Okay, so for the next section, so we're looking at this section over here between the two dotted lines. We have, what we can see is the gradient is positive throughout that. So that tells you that the velocity is still positive throughout that section. But you can see the gradient is getting less and less as you go along. Which tells you the velocity is getting smaller throughout that section, but staying positive. So let's just draw that in there. Okay. So for the next section, this is the long section in the middle here, what we have is a creates a constant gradient, but the gradient is also zero for that section because it's flat. If the gradient is zero, that must mean velocity is zero. So let's draw that line in. Try and get it nice and straight. That's not too bad. Okay, so we get all the way across there. So now let's have a look at this section on the right hand side. So we're talking about this long sloping section over here. Now what you'll see is it's got a negative gradient. So what that tells you is that the gradient or the velocity, sorry, in this case, must therefore be negative 2. And you'll see that the gradient is constant throughout that section. So it's a constant negative number. Now you'll see at the point where it goes from being flat to that constant gradient line, there's no curve or bend or anything. So what that tells you is that the actual the velocity jumps straight from being zero to being this negative number. So the straight line on your graph down here at the bottom, which I'm showing with the laser. So you get a straight line where it jumps between the velocity and it jumps to a negative value and it remains constant throughout that section there. Now for the next section you can see it's another flat section of the graph so as time goes on the displacement isn't changing it means it's not moving anywhere so therefore it has must have zero velocity. Again just as before we've got abrupt change on the displacement time graph which means there's an abrupt change on the velocity time graph too so yet again we have another straight line where it jumps between it and it goes back to being zero for this section here. So the final section of the graph on this right hand side, you can see we've actually gone back to having a positive gradient on this graph, which means that the velocity must now be positive. And just like before, there was a sudden change on the displacement time graph. So you're gonna have a sudden change like this, and it's gonna jump up to being a positive velocity for this section here. And it's constant because it's a constant positive gradient for that section. So for the final part, you can see the displacement remains at zero for the rest of the graph. So that must mean, again, the velocity jumps back down because it's a sudden change. 
and then it remains at zero for the remaining time. And that is how you would go about sketching the graph for this question.